it is Friday. All day long. Finally. Looks like we're gonna have rain all day long too, but that's okay. I'm telling you. Y'all you know, got it laid out for uh, St. Patrick's Day, don't you? We do. We was, uh, had it on a toolbox there, but as you can see, that toolbox is gone. It left yesterday, so. Yeah, that's the economy toolbox there, isn't it? Anybody can afford one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well. It's not the greatest for the storage needs, but it works till another box gets there, that's for sure. It'll work. Beats mine when I sold my sample box waiting on my Matco box, having them in the strode out everywhere yeah uh that's a good way to lose some tools anyway <laughs> i guarantee you well i got up this morning and noticed it was raining and i thought well why wouldn't it rain it's it's the weekend right that's that's it, it it's only going to rain on the weekend it's going to be winter monday tuesday and wednesday you're going to get spring on thursday mm -hmm. and then friday the rain comes in and winter comes back that's the way it works so it's the life of mississippi works. right We've been, stuff? Yeah, we've been showing off the the line and sensor uh, line and sensor wrench set. Okay. Um, as you can see, it went from 13 to 19. When we come out with a brake bleeder set that was like this, or the brake line wrenches, everybody was talking about. Well, we wish they'd go up bigger. We wish the sizes would go up bigger. And the main thing was the transmission lines and stuff like that. Um, so here it is, 13 to 19. Good overall set. Uh, it does have an offset on this end so as you can see it's angled and offset we do have the swivel part down here but as you can see it's also got the offsets on the back wow. of them That's so nice. you get more of a bite um, just an overall uh, to me a good design we also have a screw here so in the you other style that's right and the other style, one of the only complaints that, that I had uh, and problems that I seen in that design was this part. The pin would either fall out or it would get loose. And then, you know, once it gets to that point, you're trying to go up, it's falling, it get, you get aggravated. Um, so I, I like the fact that we went with a screw there. I like the offsets. Um, I like the fact that this ain't just straight out. Uh, yeah. You know, it gives you that because most of the time when you're going for that line, there's other stuff in the way, mm -hmm. and that little bit of an offset just gets you to where you have enough space to get in there uh, and break it loose. Of course, with it cut out, that's what makes a line wrench, of course, but um, ease of getting in and out. So 13 and 19 don't only have to be, uh, you know, uh, a line wrench. We can do it with sensors and stuff too, especially O2 sensors and stuff like that. Um, I know most of them uh, seven eighths and, and, and whatnot, but um, I'm just going with a sensor with a wire, basically. Right. Uh, you know, I've seen people cut the wire off and use a socket. That works great. You still got to put the new one in. Uh, I don't see you cutting the wire to put the new one in. So, <laughs> yeah. um, just a good overall set. Part number is uh, BLW7M. Okay. Um, so a good overall set there. That's a nice set. I was really happy to see this set because um, like I said, we had the brake wrenches and everybody was like, man, I wish those come in different sizes. I wish, you know, we, we had them a little different. So I saved those for the truck. We've talked about them, but I've saved them for the video. That way we can show them off uh, and talk about it and, and so on and so on. Uh, I next, see you got a bunch of new knives in too. We do have good uh, new knives in. Um, this one here, uh, I'll leave it to your imagination, uh, but just a good little short stubby knife. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see you working on a whole lot of cars with this, um, but a neat, cool <laughs> overall knife. Uh, I liked it at Expo. It does have the chain that you can wear it around your neck. It does have the good strong belt clip. Right. Uh, I'm not a fan of the on the belt, and the, the main reason. I think it's a great idea, but for technicians, we forget that it's there, and the next Scratch. thing you know, uh, we've got Or you lose them under a car, and yeah. when you roll over them with your creeper wheel, you skin them up. Well, and, and I, you know, the big thing is for me is the scratch. So I carry this micro knife here. It does have a belt clip. Um, even on the weekends or even, even now that I'm not working on cars, I still just let it uh, fall in my pocket freely. 
for the sheer fact of I've seen so many fenders, doors, mm -hmm. uh, and, and what a lot of people forget about, you know, we talked about the groove wallets and, and how they can fit in your front pocket, right. your back, um, but going on the scratch um, side of that, uh, I've seen so many times with the uh, big long wallets in your back pocket, they usually have some that kind of metal, metal design. Concho thing on um, when a technician is either diagnosing or working underneath the dash, it puts it right about the door. And once you lay down and you start sliding back and forth, uh, that paint does not like that emblem at all. Mm -hmm. And now you've got a scratched uh, door, uh, kick panel there. Uh, it's just, it's bad news for everybody. We actually had it happen uh, in the dealership that I worked at. Uh, and we had to repaint that section of the car for the guy because I mean it was just scratched all the pieces. Yeah. So uh, I like the I like the clips on the back of them. Good sturdy. If you're a technician, though, just be be leery of <laughs> be it. Be mindful of it. You know, I, I see guys that wear their uh, phone cases on the side. You know, their leather. Um, that's about the only thing I'd wear on the side because it seemed like I always broke my cell phone working on cars. Cause I'd have it in my front pocket or back, back pocket and, and every that's time why my screen's broke now. Yep. Uh, mine may break today, but so far I have kept it out of my back pocket long enough not to break the screen. Um, well they but, make phones so freaking big. Like, yeah, it's nice to be able to see, especially when you're older or you got fat fingers like I do about texting, but we want to search the internet and that has got us in a world of trouble because now phones are so big um, and not only big but expensive. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> it's ridiculous, $1,500 You know, phone. And they used to do a thing to where if you upgraded you got the phone for free, they don't do that no more. Mm -hmm. They try to word it as that but it's like, oh you're going to pay this gradual payment, it's going, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's not free no more. So yeah, 1400 bucks, I guess they're not giving them away. but. Well, it's like uh, toting around a tablet now. It is. It you is. Um, good. I remember work. when I got my first, what I thought was a good cell phone, and that was the Motorola Razor. Yeah. And uh, I loved that thing. It was a little beady, you know, and but I would always put it in my shirt pocket, you know, and there's no telling how many times I dropped that thing. And, you know, before I had it, I had that Nokia with the one big fat button in the middle. Yeah. And like the button come out of the middle and you'd have to use an ink pen or something to mash it, you know. <laughs> but those phones were sturdy, man. You could them razors, I'm convinced that uh they were made out of steel because mm -hmm. I have dropped them, threw them. Uh, you know, they they didn't have much of a screen. You yeah. know, they were the bigger screen than the Nokia's right, that we were used right. to at the time. I uh, remember when they come out with the color Nokia screen. So instead of having the little black <laughs> squares, it had the little bitty colored squares, and everybody thought that was awesome. So I, I remember, uh, I didn't have one, of course, I was a kid, but I remember like bag phones and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you were the you were the stuff if you had a bag phone in your car. Yeah. Um, and, and now it's like you don't have a cell phone, like pull it out, Google it, whatever you need to do. Yeah. Um, well, sure. But that has handicapped us in, in, in ways that we don't realize. Oh man, but. I can't remember any phone numbers. Like when I was in high school, I still remember all the phone numbers from high school, like Pizza Hut's number 6225. You know, I remember Walmart's number, like all the numbers that, and like all my friends' numbers. But now if somebody says, I'll give you a half a million dollars to tell me Michael Cummins' phone number without looking at your phone, I couldn't do it. There's no way. So we were talking about the other day, Pizza Hut is the number that she remembers. Um, oh, I back, rem in, I, back in my day, you went to the video store and Pizza Hut and you had a great night. Like, and now kids, they don't appreciate that because they got all this streaming movie services and junk, you know. And right. Um, there was nothing more frustrating though than finding the movie you wanted and you've seen all the boxes up there, but there was no movie behind it. That's what sucks so bad. Yeah. And you'd have to go up there and be like, see anybody turn this one in yet? But no. I promise you guys, I'm not just looking off. I'm trying to show y'all something, but do we have an old ratchet, half inch ratchet? I want to show y'all an improvement, but I don't know if I got an old one. Uh, I know the purple ones have already been redone. So I'll look in this one. That one up there, I just knew that it was that way and it was not. Um, so I'm not just 
pedaling, not, not paying attention. I am paying attention, but I'd like to show y'all something. So, you are gonna get some Matco education today. Trying, you know, Matco I like I like new tools. I, I love new tools. I'm a tool fanatic, um, but I like to see improvements as well. So when I can get an improvement, and that one's been improved too. So we'll just talk about it. Uh, actually, y'all finna learn something today. We're gonna try our very best. She's gonna get me an old kit, and we'll talk about it. So anybody with a half inch ratchet um, with Matco has had the issue to where the teeth have broke off at some point uh, or the gears, the teeth off the gear. Uh, and you know, back before Christmas, I told y'all that they were working on a fix, but it was gonna be 2023. Uh, so the fix had not got here yet. Well, the fix is here. Okay. Um, they sent out a bag of the gears uh, that we were to uh, fix all the ratchets uh, that we had. Um, and then the new ones that come in are automatically going to have the new gear. So here is the old gear, uh, and we all know that about three teeth or four teeth is where it normally broke. Uh, mm -hmm. Normally on the reverse side, uh, because that's where the most torque, normally, you know, you're not torquing enough to break it off. Um, but with all the massive torque ratings that all the impacts and stuff have got to these days right. uh, stuff is going on a lot tighter so that the gears will just break off and the cause that they uh figured out on that is because not when when you would go to do it in the thing not all the teeth were engaging so what would happen i'll put this old one back in and show you what would end up happening is these last three gears would take all the brunt of that pressure okay which is what would break that off there so the redesign here, as you can see, we've got now a circle in the middle and we've beefed it up a little bit right here, but also it's going to grab a few more there to where we're not so weak in the middle or in the side here. So we'll put that in there. Um, we have been doing this for about two weeks now. Um, one guy that normally always breaks the gear off, um, it's it's always the same thing with that shop because they're a heavy duty shop it's 18 wheelers um, and he just didn't want to go up to a three quarter at the time but instead of breaking the gear this time we actually broke the anvil off and as you see we got a little twist there mm -hmm. and that does happen um, but it was nice to see that the gear did not break at that point so we'll put this in here and then we'll go back and uh, look at the, the teeth on it so as you can see when we start to ratchet there it just doesn't when we actually start to put pressure on it look how many teeth actually have pressure on it you've got maybe two teeth maybe three teeth right it takes the brunt of the pressure uh, and the reason that is is because of course we got a spring here to where when we go to switch it's not super tight but we had to figure out a way to get more you can even see it here that even the teeth there is not really touching it's it's kicking it off at an angle mm -hmm. but the end is taking all the brunt so with that we were able to get the gear redesigned and like i said you can tell uh, we've got the center cut out and then we're just overall a little bit thicker here with a sharper point um, so just a, a new redesigned but let's go ahead and put it in look at it uh now with everything time will tell how great this is but so now even adding the pressure we've got that whole gear there now we do got gap here but that's okay right. because we're going in that direction but i'll swap it back because somebody will say i was going in a different direction there but when we swap it back and we add that pressure we're right there, we've got all the teeth engaged. Like I said, we don't have it here, but we do have the teeth engaged there. So Very an overall nice. better bite, um, just a little education. So if the gear was a reason that you was afraid to buy the half inch ratchet, now we, from what I've heard, uh, we are gonna go ahead and uh, get the better gear in the three eighths and a quarter also. Um, so it's a, it's a change coming to make the ratchets just overall better uh, to such a nice ratchet anyways yeah um, but just that's what i was doing there i wasn't just trying to to 
adventure off. I was trying to show y'all something, but and now, now you know. know. Now you know. Now you know. You remember that Reading Rainbow or whatever? Remember? That's it, yeah, Reading it? Rainbow. You know. <laughs> Magic School Bus, rain, uh, all that good stuff as a kid. But So there is a change to the ratchets. It's not, you know, it's not a new product, but it's an improved product. And that's the only thing that beats a new product. Just that's something that, that works great as is, uh, that we can improve. Um, now if we can just uh, figure out more ways to improve it, it'll be even better, right? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm good with that, but. I can tell you what really improves the feel of a Matco ratchet. It's the, just a little bit of super lube yeah. in that thing. Well, you know, we actually, um, we, like it is smooth as butter with yeah. just a little bit of soup. Not a lot, just a little. Yeah. So I haven't tested this, and I'm going off of my just thoughts here. Um, but, you know, we, we were having some ratchet failures, and we said, well, it's the grease. Um, I just wonder if with this new gear, if, uh, if grease is back in, right? As, mm -hmm. You know, if we do put grease back in these ratchets, because it has lubrication in there. Yeah. And I'm not saying they come dry. Right. Don't take me like that. But we couldn't put heavy, heavy grease in there because it was causing issues, right? Um, well, now I just wonder. And you ever try I, it? Just put a little bit of super lube in it? I'm telling you, man, that stuff. Yeah. I don't know what's in it, but it's, it's good. <laughs> well, uh, you know, we got her the purple ratchets for her collection. I may put some grease in them just to test to see. You know, I'm mm -hmm. not telling everybody to put grease in their ratchets because I don't know. At one time, that well, was that an issue. Well, that first one I got from you, the orange one, that yeah. was the very first Matco ratchet I bought. I think it was like the 12-inch one or whatever. And that's still my favorite. Yep. You know, twelve is my flex, favorite lock and flex head ratchet by far, but the um, <clears throat> you know I mean obviously it was four or five year old. I mean it's pretty yep. old, so I took it down one day. I had a bunch of grit and crap in it. I just took it apart and cleaned it, and uh, I put me a little bit of super lube in there. Man, that thing felt better than it did when it was new. So I always tell people uh, we all like clean tools, right? Mm. We all love clean tools. Um, the number one thing not to clean your tools with is a brake cleaner. Yeah. And, and there's a reason for that. And I know everybody that has done it, like myself, is probably thinking, you're crazy. It works quick. Spray it on there, wipe it off, it's dried, everything's good. Eh. On the ratchets, it actually seeps past that uh, plate that you saw me yeah. put on last. Uh, and then it comes out the other side. So what it comes you, out of the switch hole. Yeah, so what you do is you're essentially washing any oil or grease that was in that ratchet, you're washing it out. Well, guess mm -hmm. what? Now that ratchet's dry, now you're struggling to turn that, that uh, switch there. Um, the best thing to do, even your oil change techs, I had ones like, man, I get oil, and he, he is, he's a quick lube, it gets, you know, droused in oil, it sits on an oil pan, um, so I mean, it's just covered in oil. And the quickest thing to do is spray it off. Yeah, that's the quickest way to mess that ratchet up too, though, yeah. because once you dry the inside of that out, it is rusted in just a couple of days. I mean, mm -hmm. just solid rust. Now you're you're skipping teeth and stuff like that. My advice on that, tub of towels or just whatever your favorite is, uh, we got some new waterless soap that seems to be work really well on the ratchets and stuff. Tub of towels has always worked great. Just wipe that thing down. Mm -hmm. Don't spray that off because even the motor oil that gets in there is better yeah, than nothing. Absolutely. Um, so stay away from the brake clean. When and, and even on the screwdrivers, brake clean has the tendency to start breaking down the uh, the grip. Oh, it's terrible on the handles. Like everybody's, like, oh, I've done it for years. Well, I promise you. Yeah. It will destroy those. My handles. baddest <laughs> habit as a tech was, well, my hands are dirty, and I got to drive this car around. Spray them off with brake clean wipe them off, round we go. Um, heck, I was four toolboxes down, which is pretty good distance in the dealership world because you have big gaps between. But anyways, the sink was way up there and they were calling my name right now. Get it up here, get it yeah. up here. Um, I didn't even know about Toba towels then, I'm not gonna lie. So brake clean, drive it around. You do that once or twice and your your fingernails and everything else is bust dry open, yeah. and busting Soaps. open, your hands are dry. It does the same exact thing to the handles, to the gears, mm -hmm. to the screwdrivers, and, and even your um, pliers, on uh, your grip on your pliers and stuff. Mm -hmm. It gets down in there, it breaks the glue or whatever's inside there, and not necessarily Starts glue. Spinning. 
Yeah, yeah it, it, I, I don't think they glue them in there. It's, it's a press fit normally on them but and heat shrunk around it. But what it does is it starts eating that plastic to a point and makes it swell. If you don't believe me, buy you a, a rubber ring because yep. you don't want to get your hand caught in anything. Spray your hand just one time. Um, it, your ring will fall off. It makes it swell. It does the same thing on tools. Uh, even your uh, electric tools. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a fire hazard waiting to happen. But if you do give it time to dry out, which don't take long, you're still messing up the grips on mm -hmm. Snap-on, Mako, DeWalt, Milwaukee. It don't matter. If it's got a rubber grip, you're messing that up at the time. So Absolutely. Always helps to have the right stuff. I mean, I know you don't always have it, but you can at least wipe it off with a shop rag. I would know? rather see you wipe it off with a shop rag and come back and clean the handle later when you had it right um, then break clean it and then the next thing you know yep. your gears are you know slipping and whatever and yeah a little bit of you know i've always heard well it's got a lifetime warranty well yeah it does <laughs> but how long are you down waiting on that warranty to take place right mm -hmm. if you do that on a monday and i come mm -hmm. on a friday there you go there you are all right. Well, thanks for the ratchet education and props to Matco for improving a product. So can't ask for more now. All right, guys, it's Friday. Kick off your weekend. Enjoy it. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. If you're not subscribed, click that button. See ya.